Hi everyone, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we will see what are parent and child themes in WordPress. We'll also see how to create a child theme. So let's get started. A parent theme is basically a complete theme which includes all the required WordPress template files and assets for the theme to work. Any WordPress theme which is not a child theme can technically be called a parent theme. But every single theme is not recommended to be used as a parent theme. The parent theme is not dependent on any other theme. It is standalone and doesn't inherit any features from other themes. A child theme on the other hand is a theme which inherits the look and feel of the parent theme. You can make changes to the child theme without actually editing the parent theme's template files. Child themes are usually used to make minor changes to the parent theme. For example, if you have a theme and you want to change the color of all the headings of the website, then you can do that using a child theme. Now if you want, you can also make the changes right in the parent theme itself and it will work. But the problem is that if you update your theme, all the modifications you made to the theme will disappear. The update process of WordPress theme is uh, really simple. It just replaces the old files with the new files. So all your changes will be reverted. But if you make changes to the child theme, you won't lose the changes you made to the theme when you update the theme. If you are new to WordPress, you should use a child theme to make changes to the existing theme on your website. One of the other advantages of using a child theme is that you know what changes you have made to the theme. So whenever you make any changes in the CSS, you write the styles directly to the style.css file of the child theme. If you want to make changes to the header of your theme, then you have to copy the header.php file from the parent theme to the child theme. And now you can make changes to the header.php file in the child theme and the header of the website will change. So now if you want to see what are the modifications you have made to the theme, then you can easily track them. All the files in the child theme are the ones that are modified. Then all you have to do is remove all the styles from the style.css file in the child theme and also delete all the modified PHP files in the child theme. But if you were making changes to the parent theme, then it can be difficult for you to track the changes and uh, restore the theme. Now let's see how to create a child theme. So I'll show you an easy way to create a child theme. We'll be using a plugin to create a child theme. So let's go to our WordPress dashboard. Here is my dashboard and uh, let me just show you my website. So this is the test website that I had set up. These are all the posts in our website. So this is the official WordPress 2019 theme. So if you go to appearance and themes, we can see the 2019 theme is uh, active over here. So let's go ahead and create a child theme for our 2019 theme. And what we'll do is uh, we will uh, change the color of these headings to red. So if you just go over here and right click and click on inspect, we can see that it is an H2. So what we'll do is change the color of all the H2 to red. So let's just close this. And uh, here we'll go to plugins and click on add new. And uh, here we'll search for child theme. And you can see this plugin over here called child theme configurator. So that's what we're going to install. So just click on install now. After installing, just activate the plugin. Now here we can see we have this uh, child theme configurator active over here. So now just go to tools and uh, go to child themes. And uh, here we can see the child theme configurator. So the first thing to do is select the theme. So if I click over here, we can see all the themes that we have available right now. So we'll select the 2019 theme and uh, we'll click on analyze. And uh, here we can see the theme appears okay to be used as a child theme and uh, all the information is here. Now here we can set the name of our child theme. So we'll just keep it to 2019-child and uh, these are all the options. You can make changes if you want or just leave it as it is. Alright, so now we'll just click on create new child theme. And our child theme has been created. So let's go to our appearance and uh, click on themes. And uh, here we can see our 2019 child. 
So this is the child theme. Now all you have to do is click on activate. Now our child theme is activated. Now let's go to appearance and uh, theme editor. Here we can see two files over here. This is the style.css file and this is functions.php file. In the style.css file we can see that we have uh, some uh, data over here. This is used by WordPress for uh, some information about the theme. Now here we can see it says template and then it says 2019. So this is the line of code that tells WordPress that this is a child theme of 2019. And then we have the theme name and all these things over here. And in functions.php what we are doing is basically getting the styles from the parent theme to the child theme. Alright, so now let's go ahead and uh, in the style.css file we'll make some changes. So we'll type h2 and uh, we'll set the color to red and we'll update the file. And now if you go to our website and uh, if we refresh our page, we can see that the h2 is red and uh, we can see all the h2s are red now. So now we have modified the child theme of our website. Now even if we update our theme, the color of the heading will still be red. So that is how you make changes to your child theme. Now this is the themes folder of our site and uh, here we can see the 2019 theme and uh, here we can see the 2019 child theme. So our child theme is basically placed in the themes folder of our site. So if you go inside here we can see the style.css file and the functions.php file. Now if you want to make changes to the other files in uh, the theme then all you have to do is go to the parent theme and copy the file that you want to change. So if you want to change the header file just copy this header file from here and uh, paste it inside the child theme and whatever changes you make over here will be applied to the website. You can also do that using the plugin that we had installed. So just go to tools and go to child themes and then go to files and then just click on the files that you want to edit. So let's just select this header.php from here and then just click on copy selected to child theme. Now if you go to appearance and click on theme editor, we can see the header file right here and uh, we can make changes over here. Alright, so that's basically it for this video. This is how you create a child theme for your website. Now, if you want to create a completely different design for your website, then you should create your own theme. But if you want to just make some minor changes to your existing theme, then you can use a child theme. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below and click on the like button if you found this useful and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.